The government of Somalia is once again offering amnesty to members of Al-Shabaab who are willing to surrender. It has publicized hotline numbers that the militants can use to make arrangements for their submission. This comes as a military offensive targeting the group is underway in several parts of the country. Mohamed Kahia has more from Mogadishu. President Hassan Sheikh Mohamed has been leading the military operations against Al-Shabaab in the central region of Kalmudu during the past week. He has once again emphasized his government's pledge, will come back into society and if fighters from the armed group Shabab who give up their ideology. We said it before and we want to repeat it again that members of the Al-Shabaab fighters are still our sons who were indoctrinated. If they came back, they are still our sons. We don't hate them. Even the Almighty forgives his worshippers when they sin. So who are we not to forgive them? However, there must be conditions that fighters should accept their wrong actions. The National Center for Preventing and Countering Violent Extremism has provided hotline numbers that fighters willing to respond to the government offer can call to surrender. Since then, Senior al-Shabaab figures, including Nur Abdullahi, have surrendered to government forces in the central region. Despite high-profile defections, authorities have reiterated that the ongoing operations will continue until they achieve their intended goal. The second phase of the offensive is also expected to kick off soon. The National Consultative Forum has unanimously agreed to jointly plan the second phase of military operations against Al-Shabaab, targeting areas still under their control in states such as Jubaland, Southwest, and Hishabele, which are in the west banks of the Shabele River. The African Union peacekeepers helping the Somali government maintain law and order have commended the local forces for the progress they have made, despite some setbacks on the front line during the nine months offensive. We spoke about the ongoing offensive, and it was a good opportunity on behalf of the African Union and on behalf of ATMIS to congratulate the president, to congratulate the government for the good uh, job uh, done during the last uh, two weeks in defeating Ashabab. President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud has made it clear from the start that talks with armed group Al-Shabaab will not result in any meaningful progress to end decades old insurgency by the armed group. But analysts believe the amnesty approach by President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud administration is a clear indication that military actions alone is not a solution to ending the conflict in the Horn of African nation. Hamid Kahi, CGT and Mogadishu, Somalia.